हेलो गाइज दिस इज सौरभ मिश्रा वेलकम टू आवर चैनल कोर्ट सर इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग एंड वॉन्ट टू लर्न एंड मास्टर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड एलगोरथम दिस इज अ वन स्टॉप डेस्टिनेशन फॉर यू एवरी वीक वी पोस्ट कोर्ट सेफ प्रॉब्लम एक्सप्लेनेशन फ्रिक्वेंटली आस इंटरव्यू प्रॉब्लम्स एंड कॉन्सेप्चुअल वीडियोज ऑन वेरियस प्रोग्रामिंग टॉपिक्स एंड ऑल्सो लाइव प्रॉब्लम सेसन्स सो बिफोर वी एक्चुअली गेट स्टार्टेड हेयर इज अ रिमाइंडर फॉर यू टू हेट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब इट great now you have subscribed to our channel let's get started to our problem so today we are going to solve a problem named atm and its difficulty level is cakewalk and here is the code for this problem and prerequisite for this problem is basic input output and data types so let's move to the problem statement now you can see here uh, the problem statement is puja would like to withdraw x us dollar from an atm the cash machine will only accept the transaction if x is a multiple of 5 and puja's account balance has enough cash to perform the withdrawal transaction for its successful withdrawal the bank charges 0.50 here is an important information bank charges 0.50 us dollar calculate puja's account balance after an attempted transaction and here is input and output Uh, the value of x lies between 0 to 2000 where uh, 0 is not included where the value of y lies between 0 to 2000 where 0 is also included and output output the account balance after the attempted transaction so uh, i think uh, problem statement is very much clear there is nothing to explain in this problem just uh, notice some of the important information here what is x x is uh, money she wants to withdraw from her account and she will only be able to withdraw her money if her money is a multiple of 5 okay now another thing bank charges 0.50 us dollar so let's uh, check here sample input and output here the input is 30 okay and 120 what is 120 120 is her account balance and uh, what is 30 30 is the value which she wants to withdraw now output is 89.50 now check another this the input is 42 and uh, value of y is 120 okay now output is 120 because she will not be able to withdraw any money why because you can see here 42 is not a multiple of 5 okay now here you can also see that uh, her account balance is 120 and she wants to withdraw 300 rupees is it possible no so she will not be able to withdraw any amount of money so there is uh, there are two cases first case uh, she will able to withdraw money and second case she will not be able to withdraw money so if she will not be able to withdraw money what will be the account balance after her uh, unsuccessful transaction so her account balance will be same as previous so value of uh, answer will be Why value of why? Okay, because she uh, is not able to withdraw any amount of money means our transaction is failure. So here uh, answer will be why. Now just check for a successful transaction. What will happen if she will able to withdraw am some amount of money? Then her account balance after the withdrawal will be simply y minus x minus zero point five zero. Why is this so? because this is the initial balance this is the money she wants to withdraw and bank also charges 0.50 us dollar so this will be the output simple there is nothing to explain here now one more thing how will you check that x is a multiple of 5 or not so just think about so answer is very simple it's modulus operator so what is modulus operator modulus operator tells us about the remainder if we take modulus operator of x from 5 and if its value is 0 means uh, the remainder is 0 okay modulus is simply remainder if remainder uh, remainder from dividing a number to another number is 0 this means another number is an multiple of this number simple so Uh, here we will apply a condition that if okay so condition is very simple if a number x modulus 5 equal to equal to 0 what does this mean this means that uh, x is a multiple of 5 
and there is another condition what is uh, other condition the other condition is uh, now you can see here that uh, her account balance is 120 rupees and she wants to withdraw 300 rupees so is it possible no this is not possible so in which case she will able to withdraw money the case will be simple her uh, account balance in the bank and this x amount of money she wants to withdraw and also bank will charge 0.50 us dollar so if this amount is less than or equal to y then c will be able to withdraw money so we will write here if x modulus 5 equal to equal to 0 this means x is a multiple of 5 and another condition is the amount money uh, that she wants to withdraw plus the bank charges should be less than or equal to y so here is two condition okay now what will happen if uh, this both condition passes this means she will able to withdraw money so if she will able to withdraw money what will be the account balance after the withdrawal okay so account balance will simply y minus x minus 0 0.50 this will be the account balance after a successful withdrawal why because y is the account balance initial account balance x is the amount that she wants to withdraw and 0 0.50 is bank charge else and here is another condition what is that condition this condition is simple if she will not be able to withdraw money then her account balance after the transaction will simply y so here you can see that now we can code this on our editor so here you can see that it's code in python so first we will take two values first is withdrawal and second is balance so we will uh, use here math function for taking both the values withdrawal and balance and you can see that withdrawal is an integer and balance is an float value okay now simple here we will uh, we ha we had used to uh, one if and one else simple problem uh, simple conditional statement if withdraw withdraw means that the money she wants to withdraw here you can write uh, x in place of withdraw and uh, balance here you can uh, also write y so if withdraw modulus 5 equal to equal to 0 means the money that she entered is a multiple of 5 and withdrawal plus the bank transaction or uh, the bank cut is less than or equal to her account balance then she will be able to withdraw money then what will be the uh, balance after her uh, after her transaction so balance will be balance minus withdraw minus 0 0.50 and we will print it now another else we will not be able or she will not be able to withdraw any money so her uh, money after the transaction will be same as initial okay so here we uh, print simply balance now we can also see our code in cpp so here you can see that the code is pretty much same so that's it for this one like the video if you understand the concept and in case of any feedback or doubt please drop a comment below and also free to suggest what problem we should picking up next and i will see you in the next video